What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kate. If you're new here, hi, hello, welcome. Today I am going to be actually doing my makeup for once. So I've been watching a lot of TikTok lately and I keep seeing really cute like short little clips um, of like people doing really crazy like colorful makeup and of course the classic like ugly girl puts her hand up to the camera and then she backs away and she's hot. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah. TikTok, man. What a trip. So yeah, so I just felt inspired to actually do my makeup for once. So I went to Ulta and spent $50. And yes, there is a haul video with that included in it. So if that's not up already, it'll be coming. And if it is up, it'll be linked in description. So we're going to try to do something colorful and I have way too much makeup in front of me and I'm really overwhelmed already. Yeah, I've been watching James Charles videos for the first time actually. I've never watched him before and I'm just trying to try to make this cool for you guys. Sick. I guess we'll get into it. All right, so I have this little box that I use for my like daily makeup and the first thing on that list is the... Tiger Grass, oops, I am very right-handed. Uh, the Tiger Grass Sika Pear, I don't know if this works with iPhones, cool. Sika Pear Tiger Grass Camo Drops, I said that like four times now, and I'm just going to shake them up. Mm, and we're just gonna put some on my hands in drops. So it looks like and it comes out like mint green but it blends into a beige color and then next to mix with it we're going to use the dr jart disappear bb cream and this one has spf 30 in it which i absolutely love so i just have those both in my hand And then I'm gonna take this silicone sponge thing and we're just gonna blend these two. I should get a mirror, but we're just gonna try to do it in the viewfinder for as long as possible. <laughs> okay, that looks pretty smooth. Okay, we're gonna leave it at that. And then I'm going to be using, I don't wanna keep getting up to wash my hands, so I'm going to keep using the simple micellar water and cotton pad to just, you know, get the mess off. Makeup Revolution had this blur stick at Ulta today and it looked like basically half, it was like half the size of my face easily. And I swatched it on my like hand, like on the back of my hand. And it was actually like so effective. Like it really did blur my skin out and it was $15 and it was huge. And I wasn't sure if I was going to use it enough to buy it. But now that I didn't buy it, I'm like, I probably should have. It was like really effective. Imagine if I could just wear that on my face every day and just not wear any makeup and just have literally perfect skin every day of my life. So next we're going to take this giant powder brush from e.l.f. and the hourglass ambient lighting powder in the color dim light and this is like highlighter where you like put it all over your face not just on your cheekbones so. i am going to use a mirror at this point because the detailed stuff around my eyes i cannot see well enough in the um viewfinder without my glasses on but I can't put my glasses on because I'm doing my makeup so that's where we're at so I am going to be using the NYX tinted brow mascara in the color chocolate and the brush just looks like that one eyebrow 
cool. My dad just texted me. Miss you, dad. And my AC's on. Cool. I'm gonna do my eyebrow and then I'll throw that off. eyebrows on I guess we'll do powder eyeshadow next so I just bought this palette today and you'll see it in the haul video too but it's by makeup revolution it's called reloaded marvelous mattes and I just want to wear colorful makeup again and be in middle school again I'm stressed I never wear eyeshadow you guys one eternity later Well, one clearly came out better than the other. I just feel like this can't possibly end well for me. Thought you checked in for a makeup video, huh? Nope, it's a taking makeup off video now. Okay, I look like I have both black eyes, but we're just gonna move with it. Um, instead of redoing the like skin tone color makeup around my eyes, I think I'm just going to use this Milk Makeup Blurring Stick. Kind of like the Makeup Revolution one I was talking about, except way smaller. Um, and we're just gonna put this under our eyes. Our eyes. My eyes. Alright, I feel less terrible now that that is over. Of course I have an eyelash in my eye. Okay, I think what we're gonna do instead is do maybe a more toned down look. Maybe. And I think I want to do the really light blue color. So that one. And I think I'm going to try to put it on like as winged liner instead of as eyeshadow. And then I'll do the blue mascara. Wait till you see that, folks. It's going to be cute. So I have this sharp little angled brush. I'm just going to get that wet just on the dirty makeup um, wipes that I just used, the little cotton pads. So it's like a little bit wet. And then I'm just gonna scrape some of that blue color off. Ask me if I have any idea what I'm doing. Thought it'd be interesting. <laughs> probably really hard for you guys to see because I need to like build it up more but it actually came out kind of good um I actually used to wear in high school ish time I used to wear gel eyeliner every day like that I would like brush on with a brush like this and I always really liked how that looked on me and I feel like it's a lot easier to do it like that than to use like a uh, actual like liquid eyeliner so I feel like I'm actually pretty good at this. I do wish this was a little more like deeply pigmented so I didn't have to put on so much, but at the same time, I paid $8 for it. So I do really like how that looks. It looks pretty good. I realize you guys can barely see it, but I think that's cute. Okay, should I dump the other eye? I don't know how I'm gonna do this on my left side. In the James Charles video I was just watching, he said he uses liquid lipsticks as like a liquid eyeliner like this. And that's actually a really good idea. I might have to try that. I'm not generally very self-conscious about my skin, but I will say that doing it on my eyes always makes me self-conscious. Like doing any kind of makeup on my eyes because I always feel like when you see like in on Instagram, like people's eyeshadow done, like it just looks so like... Like, the skin underneath looks perfect. Like, they don't have any wrinkles in their skin. 
it's all the same shade whereas I have like veins under I know everyone has it but I just feel like in reality you have like veins under your eyelids and like your skin is gonna have wrinkles I mean I'm 22 and like my skin is not that perfect so I don't know what they're doing to get that like absolutely perfect effect to it All right, I think that looks pretty good. Next step is I'm actually gonna put in like a neutral like base color around this just to kind of make it look a little smoother and make it look a little more like cut. So I have this handy dandy makeup bag and I think this should have something I need. Yeah, so we're gonna use the Naked Basics palette, Ultimate Basics. I already got these brushes on Amazon. This is what it looks like. And I think I'm just gonna do the blow color, this very far one. some under my eyes too just to kind of brighten up my under eye area plus to tone out the fact that I took off that harsh blue eyeshadow and now my eyes kind of look like they're black eyes. I'm gonna put on a little bit more of that blur stick because my under eyes are looking a little cray. <laughs> me have a youtube channel i really don't even know do i look visco yet i feel like i look kind of visco more than like tiktok so we're gonna try worth the hype i loved blue mascara when i was a kid and I'm really hoping to bring that back Look how bright that is. Okay. You know what I love about this mascara too? It's like, if you don't wear any other makeup and you just keep it like kind of like fresh face, kind of how mine is right now. But I feel like in my daily life, I wouldn't even do the eyeliner type thing. You could honestly pull this off in your daily life. Like because the darkness of your lashes underneath kind of shows through still it can come across as like a darker lash still but it's like fun and like girly i feel like plus it's just you know what as much as i just said it was girly it's also like a little bit punk which i'm here for <laughs> transparency the display for this at Ulta did not do this mascara justice it looked very clumpy looking on the display like picture like the marketing images they share for it and in reality my l lashes are like perfect feathered glowing angelic little wings on my face now and I wish they had marketed that better because that's the kind of mascara I'm into I am obsessed this is so freaking cute. I think this might be my new everyday look. Plus, I clearly have very blue eyes. So it's like, I feel like this really brings that out. Look how blue they are. And now you can really see how bad I need my eyebrows done, but. I feel like they're so cute, I love. All right guys, so here is the finished look. I swear I'm wearing a shirt. <laughs> Hold on guys. All right, I'm gonna use my favorite lip product ever. 
the Velvet Matte Sheer, Velvet Matte Sheer from uh, Victoria's Secret in the color Skinny Dip. They unfortunately don't make this anymore, but when I worked there, it was made and we got one for free and it's the best one ever, so. And just like that. All right, guys. That is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you think I look cute because I worked really hard on it, kind of, not really. I'm gonna work really hard on editing this though. So, uh, that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching, I already said that, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.